This motion is the beginning of the stem turn and all the higher speed turns. It is a preparatory backswing and one of the paramount details for a flawless skiing technique and the source for the necessary rhythm. The turn begins with the skis parallel in one traversing direction. After the turn is completed, the skis will join each other again. First, draw back the upper shoulder, as this automatically will release and balance the motion of the right ski, sliding it into a half-stem position. More and more, the body pivots over to the upper ski, thus transferring the weight gradually to what becomes the outside ski of the turn. The body will have all the impetus it needs to finish the turn by simply bringing the outside shoulder around and ahead. If the slope is not too steep, little stemming with the upper ski will be necessary. The stem turn is a curve, a gradual turn, so do not try to cut corners and do not forget that you have to go down and around with your turn without jerking or lifting either of the two skis off the snow. Make sure that you complete the turn and that you are well around and past the direct line of the slope before you let the skis run together. In the steered turns, as the snowplow turn and stem turn are classified, two factors, momentum and centrifugal force, are intentionally kept at a minimum because the skier is not in a position to take advantage of them. 